Hi, I'm Miss Shoemaker, and today is day 37 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on recognizing God's hand in my life. So, yay for day 37. Um, <laughs> today, I um, today I've just been um, grateful that God is answering my prayers and also filling my mind with lots and lots of ideas and inspiration so that I have been um, probably obsessed with working on my my book today and doing some writing, doing a lot of rewriting. And I have to admit that there were several times this evening um, when I was writing and rewriting and making adjustments to my book that I, I wanted to stop. Like the back of my mind was like, I just want to stop. I want to like turn on the TV. I want to zone out. I want to just disappear. I want to... Um, I don't know, avoid what I was doing because <laughs> one of the things that I am learning is that apparently I'm a, a decent writer. Um, I get caught up in my own writing and um, I am writing a very sad story or a very sad section today. And so I was crying. Um, I cried several different times um, while I was working on my book and I was like, well, a good writer brings out your emotions and they make you cry and they make you ha laugh and they make you do all of those things. So there were a few t moments that I, I laughed or I chuckled at my own writing, but there were quite a few that I just, I cried um, because it's a sad story. So I'm like, well, my writing must be good if it's <laughs> triggering all of my emotions. That's what I'm telling myself because um, it might also be, you know, my own personal emotions and um, memories and things, um, reasons behind writing the story in the first place. I don't know. But um, it was it was interesting to draw on that and to have to fix that. And I went in with the intention of changing one thing in the story, but when I changed it, the rest of the story didn't make sense. And then I changed something else that made something else not make sense. So I ended up having to rewrite several chapters. In fact, I deleted a chapter and then I added a chapter <laughs> which is like ah so I ended up with the same number of chapters by the time I was done but I changed so much um of those chapters so I was like dang it I was not expecting it to take as long as it did but I every time I wanted to stop I just told myself I gotta get through chapter 13 I gotta get through chapter 13 I can do this I can do this and I am, I'm so grateful for that voice that was cheering me on, telling me I can do this, I can do this. And I'm also grateful to see that my writing triggers emotions and things. So I'm like, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm a good writer. Like this is a good story and people are gonna want to read my book. And that makes me very happy, very hopeful. <laughs> um, I can't actually control whether or not people are gonna like my writing or want to read my books, just like I can't control whether or not people like my videos or want to watch my videos. Um, so I have no, I have no control over that, but I, it does give me some hope and it does, I am grateful for all of the ideas and insights that God was giving me to help me to rewrite everything, to make it flow, to make it fit, to make it, to make it work with my character and the story, the way that I was, I'm choosing to write it now. Um, and not that it didn't have some really good stuff before, because it did. I'm like, I read through some of it and cried before I even changed it. And then I cried when I changed it. Not because I changed it, but because of what I was changing it to. I was crying when I was writing it. Um, and my mentor, Betsy Love, used to tell me that if you um, cry when you write it, then it's a better chance that your readers, readers will cry when they read it. And that's the goal is to get them emotionally involved and attached to your story. So <laughs> I'm hoping that's that will be the case. Um, when my book gets published, I am planning on publishing it at some point, um, preferably in the near future, but who knows? I've been saying that for years and still haven't got a book published, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. But I did want to get through chapter 13 because I thought that's as far as I'd written and everything else was going to have to be new stuff. I didn't realize that most of what I would be writing tonight would be new stuff. Um, my mentor, Betsy Love, also said you have to kill your little darlings, which I think is kind of a creepy phrase, but basically it just means as a writer that you have to let go of some of the stuff that you think is really good, even if it is really good, because it no longer fits with the story or it doesn't flow with the rest of the story. So you have to, you have to let it go. You have to, you have to delete it. You have to cut it. You have to put it somewhere else, use it somewhere else, or you just have to say, oh, that's beautiful. And no one else will get to know about that except for me because it just doesn't blend with the rest of the story. So 
today I, I felt a lot like that where I was getting rid of a lot of really good writing because I had to replace it with something else that I hope is still really good writing um, to make my story flow, to make my story fit. So a lot of um, struggles that I was having as a, as a writer and my initial instinct was literally to just stop, to take a break, to not go back to it. In fact, I was I was into it at one point and then um, my <laughs> my ride for my appointment showed up and I had to stop and then I came home and I'm like okay I have to finish this and I made myself start working on it and it wasn't too hard to get back into it but then I was like oh my gosh this is taking forever this is harder I have to change more stuff and I just I wanted to stop I wanted to like I'm gonna take a break I'm gonna watch a movie I'm gonna do this but I knew if I stopped I would not go back to it and I just I know that God was helping to remind me that if I stopped, I would not go back to it, that I had this goal set for today to get through chapter 13 and that I could do it. And it didn't matter how long it took. I had plenty of time today. I could do it. And I cannot tell you how long it took me. Because I have no idea. I have a vague idea. I mean, I got home from my appointment a little after five, maybe 5.30, and I probably stopped writing around 9.30. So I spent at least four hours after I got back and I probably spent... An hour, an hour, maybe two hours before I went to my appointment. So I probably spent five or six hours actually working on my story. And I got through, I don't know, I went back to chapters five and six to do something, I think, or maybe it was four and five. I don't even remember. <laughs> I left the first three chapters alone. And then I fixed something in chapter four or five, I think maybe both of them. And then I, I kind of left chapter six and seven alone. And then I got to chapter eight and everything just went <laughs> from chapter eight to chapter 13. And actually it was probably eight, nine, 10, maybe 11. But I think by the time I got to 11, I liked most of what I wrote. So I didn't have to change very much. And 12 and 13, I made some minor changes to 13. I made a few more changes to than I had anticipated. And then I realized that I actually wrote a lot more of chapter 14. I'm not sure I finished chapter 14, but I had a bunch of stuff in chapter 14 too. And I was like, oh crap. But I was like, I'm done. I'm not doing chapter 14. I reached my goal and I'm stopping. <laughs> Also, it had been like four hours since I got something to eat. So I've got food cooking while I make my video because I figured that's a good, that's a good plan. Um, so I'm very hungry, but it has gotten me to drink a lot of water today because every time I think I was hungry, I just grab a drink of water instead. But I am so grateful to God for helping me to focus on my writing and to get, feel like I'm getting somewhere with it. So um, that makes me happy that I reached a goal today. And also that I was able to survive all the other stuff I had to do today. And so I'm just very, very grateful today and very grateful for God in my life. And I know that he's in your life and blessing your lives too. So if you like these videos, you can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like them too. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and maybe find ways to recognize God's hand in your life too.